Thank you very much. Eugene Powell. I'd like to uh, do this ballad of mine uh, that I wrote not too long ago. I tried to capture the, uh, the exact point between um, um, great loss and acceptance that we all have to go through in our lives. Uh, and this is called Life Goes On.
Hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, At Home with Jeremy Montero. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here again tonight. Uh, I've been doing these shows uh, almost every week um, since the start of uh, the Circuit Breaker. And uh, except for a couple of times, uh, you know, we have been going uh, every week uh, and uh, also accompanied by my uh, colleagues at the Jazz Association who uh, are commenting and helping to support what I do over here uh, with information on the tunes and what I'm doing, etc., etc. So I'm really happy to be here. This is the last regular edition of At Home with Jeremy Montero on Sundays. Uh, I will do these now more occasionally, uh, not every Sunday, uh, uh, but I will continue uh, very often on my Thursday night piano bar shows. And the reason why I need to do my piano bar shows every Thursday is because if I don't have those shows, I will not practice every day. So I have to keep doing those uh, very often. Um, but uh, I've had, I have to sort of make way. I love doing these shows. That's one of the favorite things that I've been doing in my career. Uh, you know, just learning how to use the technology and learning skills like live stream producing, video editing, and, and getting better at my uh, Logic Pro. Uh, but, you know, I've been working till like five, six, seven in the morning, like four nights a week, because a lot of other work has come in as well, like Child Aid, which is going to be a big show, uh, the Straits Times School Pocket Money Fund, and the Business Times uh, Budding Artist Fund. Uh, young young uh, budding artist farm uh, uh, fun uh, is doing really well with child aid, which is on July 15, and they have actually raised already two million dollars for the children, and we, and I hope that they actually uh, surpass that amount uh, as we get closer to the actual show. Uh, also, my big birthday concert on the 19th of July is coming up uh, with my good friends from across the causeway, Michael Virapan over here, Nathan Hatono, uh, Melissa Tam, also a uh, seven-time Grammy winner, and a good friend, Randy Brecker, uh, Carmen Bradford, Laura Fiji, and of course, uh, the wonderful Winton Marcellus, and many, many more artists will be on the show. And that's on the 19th of July. So having to do all those things plus National Day things um, that are coming up, uh, I, I something had to give. And so uh, these shows will actually take a, a bit of a breather and then will actually still be online occasionally, randomly, as well as on Thursdays. I want to thank all of you for being so nice and always joining me uh, and commenting and just uh, making me feel like I'm not alone in this world. Uh, I'm going to start off by playing some piano for you, if that's okay. Um, I'm going to do a tune by Irving, Irving Berlin. And Irving Berlin is a wonderful composer. And actually, you know, it's amazing to think that some of his compositions are already uh, in public domain. Uh, that's how long uh, since uh, he started writing. And, um, and his, music, his music is really very timeless. And I, I hope you enjoy this tune. This one is called How Deep is the Ocean? Enjoy.
and that was How Deep Is the Ocean uh, Irving Berlin what an amazing composer please check him out I mean uh, I think the biggest shock I ever had in my career was in 1981 when this Irving Berlin review came uh, from London and I was playing in the Otegos then which was a, a backing band at the Tiara the famous Tiara Supper Club which was like a typical Las Vegas style Caesars Palace Supper Club and it was a surreal place to play in because um, you know, you would play and all of a sudden um, George Hamilton, the actor, would come in or Elton John would walk in and have dinner there, visiting, passing through Singapore. And so we had a lot of interesting people uh, come through. And so this review, this Irving Berlin review came to town and that I was already playing professionally since 1976. So I, it was great to be in that band and it was a real, really a reading gig. I had to play uh, a lot of tunes, different artists would come through. Uh, and play with us um, back then, the New Seekers, who sang, I like to teach the world to sing, and, and it's just a bunch of great artists. And this group came in and they threw the music in front of me. We had one rehearsal before the show, and there were no chords. And as a musician, a pop musician, jazz musician, although I'm classically trained, my sight reading is not good enough to read the Tao Ge written without any chords, right? So uh, I had 24 hours to, I didn't sleep that night, I'm famous. My career is famous for not sleeping. So insomnia is part of my life. And uh, just to be able to uh, go and actually scribble the chords in where I couldn't really read all the notes uh, well enough and fast enough. So um, so that's when I got to really know all of the great hits of Irving Berlin. And, and I've never lost my love for his music, uh, as traumatic as the first experience was. So I'm going to play now... Um, uh, an interview and also a track that I did with uh, the wonderful singer Antonia Bennett. I had a chance to um, meet her as well as her famous dad, Tony Bennett, and uh, her family and my family and friends for dinner uh, when they were last year in Singapore. And I got to be friends with Antonia and we've been collaborating on and off since then, since about seven, eight, seven years ago. So Antonia, uh, uh, and I did a song together, just a standard tune that we'll play uh, in a little while. Uh, but first, I'd like to play a little chat we had uh, with her at home in uh, Los Angeles. Thank you. Hi, Antonia Bennett. So nice to have you on At Home with Jeremy Montero. Thanks for doing this track with me. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's so good to see you, Jeremy. Same here, same here. So tell me, you mean you've had to stay home quite a bit. Uh, uh, you know, with the stay-at-home thing going uh, going on for some weeks or a couple of months now. So how have you filled up your time and what have you been doing? Well, you know, I have a little girl. So most of my day has been cooking and cleaning and chasing after her. <laughs> um, and, you know, when she sleeps, I try, to, I try to get my creative juices going if I don't fall asleep with her. Yeah. And, and I've been working on, actually, I started taking piano lessons. Oh, uh, that's because wonderful. Figured, yeah, because I figured, you know, well, I might be home for a while. Yeah. And I actually have the time to practice on a real instrument. So I've been doing that just to kind of get more flexible with everything else, with composition and it just helps everything. Well, it's so nice that we can do something together. I really enjoyed our concert uh, together when you came over to be my special guest at the Jazzy Christmas concert in December in Singapore. It, was, it seems like that a long time awesome. ago now, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, and it just, it just, you know, it happened so quickly. It came together so fast, and it was, it was such a, a lovely experience. And then, you know, and now, gosh, it's almost half a year ago, it yeah. seems like. Well, we got to get together and play some more and perform in, to, to, in front of a live audience as soon as we can when all this is over and it's safe to do it, you know? Absolutely. Well, you know, they're starting to open things up a little bit here and I do have a couple of friends who are doing little restaurant gigs starting yes. this next week. So that's right. promising. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time we met, it was so great. Uh, you had come over to sing with your dad in Singapore and then we got together in a nice my family and a few friends got together for dinner and that was when I really got to know you and become friends that was really very nice you know it was so beautiful and it was so nice of uh, Randy and Ada Brecker to put us together yeah. and 
they spoke so highly of you, you know, and what, so when they said, you're going to Singapore, you have to meet Jeremy. I said, okay, great. You know, yeah. and it was such a lovely, what was the name of that restaurant? It was, the food was so good. Oh, it's called Iggy's. It's one of our top restaurants and one of the 50 best restaurants in, in the, in the world, actually. Uh, they, they're really very, uh, very, very good. And then I flew up to Bangkok. I had something to do in Bangkok and I went to try and catch, I didn't catch the show in Bangkok. But we had a chance to sit in, remember, the Oriental Hotel, the Bamboo right, Yeah, they had a beautiful little lounge. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. So much fun. Yeah, it's good. So, you know, so what are you going to be up to once things start to open up? Or you, do, you, do you know whether things will open up soon or, or well, not? I, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I know that my, they're, they're estimating that it might even be around a year before my my dad, I open up a lot of his shows. And yeah. so um, it might be a year before we're able to do that again. Yeah. Um, maybe less, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. We, every day, you know, we take it day by day. Yes. Um, so I'll probably be, you know, in Los Angeles for a while. And, yeah. and so I'm kind of looking forward to getting to play with a lot of great local musicians here yeah. And um, slowly starting to get together. And there's a lot of really great opportunities starting to open up also online, but also in small gatherings, small group gatherings with yeah. responsible social distancing, but still playing together. So I'm looking forward to just being able to see some friends yeah. and play and be creative yeah. and, and move forward, you yeah. know? Yeah. Well, I hope we get to do more of these kind of things as well, you know, the two of us, uh, see whether we can do, make more music together. I think with all the technology, the distance doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, here we are working on a tune together for the show, um, which is just wonderful, you know. And hey, you know, what a great opportunity because now all of us have to think in a bigger way. And that's a, that's a great opportunity to really see all our friends and more often in a way, you know, because yeah. we get so caught up in our day to day life and what we're doing right there. But now with technology, it's in a lot of ways, much easier to be close. Yes. And that's a, a good thing. I, I think. Well, I hope you have fun uh, recording the track for, I can't give you anything but love. And I, and, and I'm looking forward to, to playing uh, the song uh, for our audience. I've got a, a, this is actually the last show in the sort of first series of my At Home with Jeremy Montero shows. And I'm taking a bit of a break because I'm working on a few big projects. So, and also to give the audience a break because I've been doing this for two and a half, two months now, two and a half months. And then I'll come back on, um, on the 5th of July with, after I take a two and, two and a half week break. So it's so wonderful to have you do on the, come on the last show and, and play with oh. me, you know? Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Jeremy. This yeah. is such a treat. And my love to you and your family. And I hope we get to see each other in person really, really soon. Yes, me too. Well, thank you very much. And uh, look forward to the next opportunity to make music together. Thank you, Antonia. Bye. Bye. Thank you, uh, Antonia Bennett. For that, and here is uh, Antonia and I playing um, uh, I Can't Give You Anything But Love. Enjoy.
was uh, Antonio Bennett singing uh, I Can't Give You Anything But Love. Beautiful cat classic by Bert Camford. Um, I thought I'll keep the swinging mood going and play another swinging tune for you. This is by uh, uh, Thomas Fats Waller, who, uh, who did this tune uh, a long time ago. And a great, great uh, New Orleans, uh, I think he was from New Orleans, a great musician. Uh, so here's um, Honeysuckle Rose. Enjoy.
And that was uh, Honeysuckle Rose. So I thought that what I would do now is uh, uh, play a little clip. I actually did some filming for a show I recently did called uh, Here 65. And uh, they used about a minute of the video. I, I My son, uh, Varian, actually shot for me. So I thought I'll just put together a little video of um, uh, what my music room looks like and other little small parts of my little flat in Bishan uh, and share my inner, inner world with you a little bit, okay? So here's my little home tour. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Jeremy Montero and I just wanted to welcome you into my little music room in my flat in Bishan just to show you uh, what I do in here and also some of the things that live in my room. So this is kind of my main workstation. I do my office work here when I'm not in the office. And also I do my uh, composing and my arranging and, 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 and do my live stream show. So let me show you this piano that I have, right? This piano that I have is the Kawai v VPC one. I don't endorse any uh, the Kawai, but I, I think it's a great instrument. It has this one of the few, if not the only controllers that actually has a proper hammer action like a grand piano and it's hitting on fake strings. So the tactile experience of playing this instrument feels as though I'm playing a real grand piano. I then uh, use a sample on my computer of uh, ivory. If you can see um, my ivory, uh, I, I, I actually have a Steinway Solo American D sample. So I can have a, a Steinway in my, in, although I don't have the space for a real Steinway D piano. Now let me show you a few other things that live in the room. Uh, right here I have my switcher and from here I'm able to uh, have my show. Like I just had uh, Laura Fiji uh, perform an item with me uh, on my show. And uh, we did a nice tune, Let There Be Love together. I use uh, phone cameras because they're all HD now and they can shoot in uh, 1080 or 4K. So I don't really use uh, uh, USB uh, webcams and I use phone cameras. So I work actually with uh, with a, a Mac and a second Mac that does uh, does my work for where my broadcast go to is the aggregator to all five channels that I broadcast to. So this is uh, pretty much this this corner of the room. So let me show you some other part of the room. Yeah, I have uh, a great uh, Viscount Legend Live organ. It's just like a Hammond organ. It's got draw bars and, uh, and, and 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 I love playing it. It's such a wonderful instrument. And here I have my Kawaii. Uh, um, upright grand piano and, and, and it's a it's been all adjusted for weightage so that it feels like a Steinway when I play so when I practice on the Kawai unlike a normal non-modified um, piano keyboard uh, you play on this and you jump on the Steinway and then there's a big tactile, tactile difference in the touch but with this I have the touch all adjusted to be like a grand piano so that when I jump on the Steinway on stage at the Esplanade or whatever there's only a small tactile jump for me. Great instrument, I spend a lot of time here. Now, I'd like to share with you some of the things that are on my wall. So, I have uh, here, uh, hiding behind this cloth, which is part of the uh, uh, studio setup to prevent people seeing all my mess. Uh, is Chase Brown and me from 1988 when we caught a flight uh, from uh, the Pori Jazz Festival in Finland. Here I have uh, some wonderful stars. That's the folk hero Joan Byers, Polina La Costa, and other people like uh, I think I've got Josh Benson in there somewhere. Yeah, you can see Josh Benson there at the top of the picture. So, and of course, Winter Marcellus, who I first met here in 1987. So that's a, that's and here I have a, some nice little things uh, like my photos and, and a, a, a bottle of Shaper's Regal that's all finished that has my name uh, engraved in gold. It's a gift from Shaper's Regal when I turned 30 years old. Uh, I also have my backing band. Uh, these guys uh, back me up after I've had a couple of drinks uh, to jam late at night into the night. And that's a model of my school SGI. And here I have. Um, I have all my my uh, passes from nearly 500 shows from 1985 until now. I mean, it's like just so many passes. Uh, here is the first time I played at the Isle of Wight Song Festival, uh, the festival that made Jimi Hendrix famous. I never got as famous as Jimi Hendrix, but 
But anyway, it was great to be on that show. Here is the pass on the Montreal Jazz Festival and many other passes from my many travels. So thanks for visiting me in my room and excuse the mess. I didn't show you all the mess, only a little bit. Hi everyone. You know, I spent a lot of time in my music room, but just as much time here just chilling out watching TV as well. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. I Sometimes when no one's home, I take my keyboard and I stick it on the kitchen table and play some music. Sometimes I write something, sometimes I just jam it myself. So this is uh, my little uh, keyboard. Nice sound. So I'm going to play a little bit of uh, the song that Dave Brucin recorded called uh, Friends and Strangers. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little uh, home tour. Uh, it's a little uh, HDB flat in uh, Bishan. Uh, anyway, I hope, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, I know all of, there's all these exciting political broadcasts going on now and uh, all the great uh, videos from all the different parties. So uh, I hope that uh, you are enjoying the music for change. Uh, you know, nothing political here, just fun and music, okay? So um, uh, I got to work with this next musician I want to present uh, uh, an item with together with, uh, with him uh, about seven, eight years ago. And uh, we played together in a show I put together called uh, the Chicago, Singapore Chicago Connection. I have more friends in the US in Chicago than any other city in America. In fact, any other city in the world, I have at least 35 friends, great friends like uh, the singer, pianist Judy Roberts, uh, the wonderful uh, uh, saxophone player Greg Fishman, and uh, and the list goes on. And it's, it's a city I, I've played in um, at this famous club called Andy's. And, and I think Chicago is um, is wonderful. The Michigan Avenue, um, if you walk down, it, it looks like, it feels like Orchard Road on steroids, right? I mean, so much, so wide and all the shops in and just a wonderful, wonderful history in that in that town. So, uh, the, my next guest hails from Chicago. He's uh, uh, an amazing musician. He was going to come and uh, do an interview with me, but he hurt himself after we completed our musical item. So, uh, he's okay, but um, uh, didn't feel like coming on to do an interview. Understandably so. Um, I, I, he's one of the few music musicians I'm scared of. When I say scared of, it means that he really makes me in just conversations and the way he plays not just the harmonica but the piano he is so deep as a musician uh, that it really shows up all the gaps in my information uh, we spent one time just two hours him analyzing john coltrane's giant steps um you know uh telling me how, what was coltrane's intent in the beginning and and some other things that coltrane did uh when he used uh, uh giant steps as an etude rather than finally recording it as a as a tune on one of his on his album so uh and he's an expert in indian classical music and all the rhythms and polyrhythms so i tell you it's uh, mind-boggling playing with him so whenever i i ask to play with him uh, i ask him to collaborate you know uh, there's always this fear because i'm working with someone i consider to be a real musical guru so i asked uh, uh he actually is the innovator of playing the um the um uh, diatonic harmonica chromatically and what does that mean let me share with you okay now if you look at the piano you'll notice that there are black and white notes right 
Okay, let me go here so you can see a bit more clear. So, a diatonic harmonica can only play the major scale. So, it can only play the white notes. There are no black notes on the diatonic harmonica. You have to play a chromatic harmonica in order to, uh, to play the, uh, the black notes. Okay, so if you want to play uh, uh, the, the notes in between, you have to play a chromatic harmonica and diatonic harmonica is only the major scale. Of course, the different keys is the F major, diatonic, and the uh, G diatonic. Every key, there's a diatonic harmonica, but it's just the major scale. So what Howard has done is by a very amazing technique that I was hoping to get him on to talk about it a little bit, maybe on, on, a, on a future uh episode I will uh when I do my random at home with Jeremy Montero shows I'll ask him to come and talk about it talk about it but he's able to play the black and white keys on an instrument where as far as physics concerned it's not possible and when you listen to him play uh on this next tune with me uh it's a tune by John Coltrane entitled Naima uh, you can be mesmerized knowing that the instrument is being played in a way that's uh nearly impossible but he has actually started to teach people how to do this so you can go online to Howard Levy's uh, 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 online training courses and he will actually teach you how to play the diatonic harmonica chromatically here's Howard Levy and I playing John Coltrane's Naima <laughs>
That was Howard Levy uh, doing Naima with me. Uh, that great John Coltrane composition. Um, yeah, well, time is flying past uh, this last show uh, for the moment. N not last show f uh, forever, f last show, regular show. Uh, I had a lot of help doing the show. When I started off, it was just one camera and, you know, all kinds of uh, different uh, issues with sound and uh, it, it wasn't easy at all when I first started um, doing the show and then um, also um, I had issues with uh, not being able to get my piano into the system so I used to just use the mic on my iPhone or iPad and it works for simple uh, 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 live streams and I, and I still do that as well occasionally when I do my random post but you know I wanted to get a good sound on my piano into the system and <coughs> I didn't have a mixer that could go uh, into the firewire of my iPad or, and or my iPhone, and 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 um, I decided I wanted to get the Roland Go Mixer Pro, uh, but then uh, Sweetie Music couldn't get because of uh, circuit breaker. They couldn't get to the store to get the item for me. So my good friend Sunil Kumar sends his his uh, unit uh, to me. This is the uh, the Roland uh, Go Mixer Pro. If you can see it. Uh, which allows me to take the sound from my various nine nine inputs, these little things, nine inputs, and send it into my uh, iPad, uh, and so I can give you decent sound. Uh, and but Sweetie was very kind. Uh, I wanted to buy one of these, and they said, "Oh no, you know, we'll just we'll just send you one." And thank you very much to Sweetie Company for sponsoring me for that. And then I started getting more equipment, different mics, and uh, I went to get a broadcast level. Uh, uh, Nearly, I, I, I stream at nearly one gigabyte uh, speed, right? When you think about most commercial places, they've only got 300 megabyte. But I really wanted to make sure that you guys get a good presentation as far as possible. And uh, so did all of that. And and now I've gotten to a point where I understand this live streaming game. I've learned how to do video edits that edit well with both Antonia and um, Howard uh, was done uh, by me using the very simple iMovie, which I'm really grown to 
dislike because it's always drift and I can't get the soundtrack together. Uh, if I have a separate soundtrack, it's some, there's always drift. So I'm going to try and graduate to something more professional soon. Uh, so it's one. It's been a wonderful time discovering, writing more music, practicing, and and learning new technologies and reconnecting with friends on Zoom. Uh, but of course, a lot of work meetings on Zoom as well. So all of us are in the land of the zombies, uh, which is fine for now. I can't wait really to go and play again live. I don't know when that's going to be. I miss seeing all of you in public, uh, you know, hanging out at the clubs and uh, during the intermissions or the end of the concerts, um, you know, and getting to know some of you and just enjoying your energy in the room. Uh, so I, I hope that all comes back soon. All of us artists miss that so much. But in the meantime, we'll do what we can. Uh, we have a lot of really interesting presentations coming up, even though this won't continue as a regular show. Uh, my Thursday show is every Thursday at 9 p.m. Singapore time. I'll still do my virtual piano bar. And um, uh, you know, some of you ask me, how come you don't like to take requests? I actually like to prepare for my show a lot. And so everything I play, I've really worked on uh, or revised and then play for you. Uh, I don't, I have a little bit of an aversion to request also because when I was younger in my career, you won't believe this, I was performing at the Bistro to Lose a Track in 1985. Um, and um, this request came up on a, on a napkin and I looked at it and he goes, it said, please play something else, please play somewhere else. And I was going, I don't know this song somewhere else. Hey, you guys know somewhere else? Uh, this one, this guy is trying to ask me to please play somewhere else. Oh, I see. That's what he meant. Kind of nasty, right? And then also another person uh, sent a request up around that same time. We are a jazz band and the, the place is a jazz club. And this request actually said, can you please play One Way Ticket by Boney M? You guys remember that tune? tune? One Way Ticket. One way to get, remember that Boney M, horrible Boney M tune? And uh, that was 1985. Now, uh, nearly uh, 15 years later, when I was playing at Harry's Bar, someone sent a request up on a coaster, and I looked at it, and he says, and he says, can you please play One Way Ticket by Boney M? I kid you not. I looked around the room to see if there was the same person that was in the audience, but it wasn't. I couldn't recognize who it was. But it's not that I don't like playing requests completely. Uh, you know, hey, oh wow, Carmen Bradford just uh, messaged me to say that the uh, date for my 60th birthday celebration is on her actual birthday. So, hey, Carmen, good to see you. Let me say hi to a bunch of people here. Juniper, thanks for being here. Always uh, appreciate you uh, coming to support me and uh, that and your wonderful uh, student when we when I used to work with you on your piano, I hope you're still continuing to practice the piano. I, I, you really have a, a, a good a sense of music and a wonderful way of touching the instrument. So please keep going. Um, Stephen Francis, my dear old friend, my bro. Uh, I see Vincent Lim, Elvin Conista, Richard Peng, Shireen Aruzu, Si Heng. Okay, thanks, Si Heng. I'm glad you liked that version of Naima uh, that Howard and I did. Uh, let me see. Hi, Anne, my old friend who used to be in the army with me at the music and drama company is on here as well. Uh, my friend, my new friend, I've never met him, Zibig Neil Sagan from uh, Poland, I think you are, right? Oh, your messages are always in, uh, in Polish. So, uh, but I always can use translator. Nowadays, you can just use translator and, and you can see what people are saying, you know. Uh, it's quite amazing. Uh, King Fook, my old friend, Patrick Koh, Hong Wee, Don Marie, to, uh, Louis Ng, who's a good friend of mine and a good musician, but also one of Singapore's best dog trainers. So if you look at Louis, uh, uh, if you leave a comment, Louis, so that people can look for you. If you want to train your dog, Louis Ng uh, is just amazing. He worked with uh, Caesar Milan uh, on, on the show here in the indoor stadium when Caesar Milan was here. Uh, hi, Pete Moore. Good to see you, Pete. Uh, Michael Chia, Andy Rosario, Saida, nice to see you here. Mac Chu from Malaysia, Lee Ng, the wonderful pianist who's uh, playing together with me uh, for the Child Age show coming up very soon. 
Evan Ng, Darren Sui, Siwei, my colleague. Ian Tan, I want to say hello especially to Ian Tan because Ian Tan was, when I was grumbling about not having a good enough signal in the house, he said, hey, I've got this really brand new Nokia uh, mesh system and I know it's really expensive uh, Expensive, and I asked him uh, how much you want to sell it. He says, no, I, I'll just give it to you. So I went to his house and picked it up. Picked it up. So Ian, I owe you a drink when we can go out to the bars again, okay? And uh, Jens Bunga from uh, Frankenthal in uh, in in. Uh, I also saw uh, in another page, I saw Nicola Gap. And so Keith Gap must be there with you. Hi, nice to see you both here today. Um, Jordan Rivers, a great guitar player from um, from Kuala Lumpur is watching. Michael Virapan, my bro, who's also on my uh, birthday special on uh, July 19th. I saw him check in. Jeremiah Choi, the producer for Child Aid, is also with us here. Uh, Wow, Mia Samira, the great singer from uh, Indonesia who I've played with about a year and a half ago, is us with us. Min Pasakon, the amazing saxophone player from Bangkok, is with us as well. Uh, wow, Bill Ang, Joanna Dong, I don't know if she's still on with us, but hi, Joanna, if you're there with us, uh, if you're here with us. Kevin Ang, the, another great harmonica player, is with us. Uh, wow, it's today is so nice to see... Uh, so many people joining uh, and, and, and hanging out at my last regular show for At Home with Jeremy Montero. Okay, I'm going to sing a song for you now. I've been thinking about this song all day. Uh, um, it's uh, called Moon Glow. I don't know if you know, know this tune. It's uh, by Eddie DeLang and Irving Mills. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this. It's called Moon Glow. Thank you. Oh, I see Chiwe, my friend, the great composer, Singaporean composer, lives in Australia. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate Chiwe because when I want to go to Disneyland, he gets me free passes. Uh, he works a lot with uh, many of these great companies. Well, I'm not supposed to say that, right, Chiwe? Uh, but anyway, uh, 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 we went to the, the NAM show together in Anaheim. Uh, one of our really um, superb film and um, writers of music for video. So here's um, a moon glow. Enjoy. Must have been moon glow way up in the blue. It must have been moon glow that led me straight to you. I still hear you saying, Dear one, hold me fast. And I start in praying Oh Lord, please let this last We seem to float right through the air Heavenly songs seem to come from every And now, when this moon glow way up in the blue, I'll always remember that moon glow gave me you.
tune right really beautiful tune so i just want to uh, remind you about uh, some of the shows that are coming up uh, big shows like firstly the 15th of july um it's uh, child aid and this goes to helping uh, the children who are supported by the straits times school pocket money fund and also the business times budding artists fund and uh, I'll be playing a couple of items. One item, I'll be doing a duo with the young uh, master piano player, Joey Alexander, and as well as another item with musicians from the region, uh, pianist Lee NG from Singapore, uh, CC Lee, a young saxophone player who's now 17, who I've had the pleasure of uh, mentoring and making music with since he was 13. Uh, John Cole, a Singaporean bass player, who is a Jazz Association Singapore scholar studying at the Berkeley College of Music in Boston now uh, under the Jazz Scholarship. Um, as well as, um, who else is on it? Oh, me, yeah, I'm, I'm on, on organ. Angie plays piano. And this brilliant 15-year-old drummer from Bali uh, by the name of Krishna Kanhaya, Kanhaya. Krishna Kanhaya, really wonderful player who plays like a, I mean, I, I don't want to say exactly that he's he's not copying at all. He sounds a blend of Omar Hakim and Steve Gadd and uh, Dave Weckl. Amazing at 15, very musical and really all up in the latest equipment and technology. Uh, he's just a wonderful musician. So please catch us uh, on the 15th of July. I think that's uh, 7.30. And uh, so far, Child Aid and uh, the people running Child Aid have already... Um, managed to raise $2 million to help the kids. And so we're hoping that uh, they will be able to raise even more and hit maybe even $3 million bucks. So please uh, watch the show and donate to Child Aid. Okay, it's a wonderful, worthy cause. Also, on my birthday show, uh, wonderful sing uh, musicians, uh, Carmen Bradford, who commented earlier is uh, performing on the show. We are working on a great tune together. I'm, I'm sure you'll love it with me on organ and piano and her singing vocals at her home in Atlanta. Uh, and of course, Winter Marcellus, Randy Brecker, uh, Alex Piagin, Jay Anderson, uh, Melissa Tam, who's now living in New York. Um, I don't want to miss anybody. In the, in, from Europe and UK, I have Alan Barnes from the UK and uh, uh, Tony Lakatosh on saxophone from Germany, Trudy Engel, also from Germany, uh, and uh, Hong uh, Chanut Techatananan from Thailand is uh, uh, our drummer in that European group. He goes to, with me to Europe very often, and that's my European. I used to just call it my European group, but now it's my UK European family. And uh, musicians from the region, Michael Verpen on piano, uh, Eugene Pao on uh, guitar, Todd Stolentino from... Uh, the Philippines and Singaporean artists like Nathan Hartono and um, LMA Fernandez, Colin Young, Sean Hongwei, Richie. The, the list goes on, getting breathless trying to think of everyone that's on the show. Okay, so uh, uh, before I go on to play something else for you, I wanted to play something from a past concert of mine uh, together with the Jazz Association Singapore Orchestra. Uh, when we played in Thailand in January, uh, just before uh, COVID really hit hard and we couldn't travel and play anymore. Uh, we played a couple of concerts at the Thai International, Thailand International Jazz uh, Conference. 
at Mahidon University. And we did an, another concert, a private concert, um, uh, hosted by the Singapore Embassy in Bangkok uh, by Ambassador Kevin Chok. And um, it was a, r a lovely concert at the Alliance Francaise in Bangkok. And uh, we, I had, uh, we had as our guest the most popular jazz saxophone player in, in Thailand. I mean, he is a superstar. He sold 300,000 al albums whenever his albums came out back in the day and uh, still a very loved figure. I wrote a song for him. I produced his fourth album in Los Angeles in 2000 and 2004. And I, uh, I wrote a song for him there in, uh, in California called Malibu Sunset, which has become his largest instrumental hit. Yes, his biggest hit is a vocal tune he wrote called Pawana, but his biggest instrumental hit I had the pleasure of composing. This is called Malibu Sunset featuring Cole Mr. Saxman and the Jazz Association Singapore Orchestra. Please enjoy. Apparently, uh, it's not uh, lined up on my... Okay, so that gives me an excuse to play some other tune for you first while I quickly try and line it up uh, on my uh, switcher. This is the tune that I sang uh, for the Here 65 show featuring Yang Shong Hong Wei on, uh, on saxophone. Uh, Sean is uh, now at home recuperating from dengue fever, so he's feeling much better now and be recording something with me earlier l uh, later this week. So here's... Uh, uh, s me singing Smile by Charlie Chaplin. I'll try and be back with that other tune very soon. Thank you.
Light up your face with gladness Hide every trace of sadness Although a tear may be ever so near That's the time you must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile If you just smile Just smile Just smile I, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't like play that tune. I intended to play after all that big hard sell on the tune, but because if I do, I'll actually interrupt the broadcast, and I don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to do a couple of more tunes for you. I'm going to sing for you um, this tune for called uh, "For All We Know" by J. Fred Coots and uh, Sam M. Lewis. Uh, a very beautiful tune um, called "For All We Know." Uh, I know we'll see each other again, but this tune makes us remember that we should always cherish every single moment that we have with our friends and to always, uh, you know, say, treat our friends well because, you know, for all we know, we may never see each other again. So uh, not being macabre or, or bizarre, but just a reminder to myself and everyone that uh, friendship and the people close to us, we should always treat with much love and respect. Um, um, so thank you again for supporting me and also being uh, with the Jazz Association Singapore. Uh, many of you have actually made donations um, throughout the shows, uh, and I really appreciate that all of you who have uh, sent some money through to the Jazz Association to help us with our plans. Um, we, we, I'm going to make the 60th birthday show on the 19th of October a fundraiser. We're hoping to raise um, about $60,000 for that. Um, and some news coming out later in the week of some expansion of our activities at the Jazz Association Singapore, expansion of our mission. So please look out for that news and, uh, and please um, uh, look out for the post concerning the birthday show, uh, which will be in aid of the Jazz Association Singapore, which is a charity in Singapore, and which gives out 250% uh, tax deductions for your donations so uh, again thank you to all of you who have been donating throughout the many weeks that i've been doing the show and uh, shout out to all the artists who came on the show and did interviews and uh, especially the very first ones um, when i didn't have the technology together and it was kind of a mess but still they were there with me so thank you so much and uh, and i hope to see you uh, again very soon um, well, this is not goodbye. Two more tunes, I said. So here's For All We Know. Thank you.
Make this moment sweet again We won't say good night Until the last minute I'll hold out my hand and my heart will be in it for all we know this may only be a dream we come On a stream, so love me tonight. Tomorrow was made for some. Tomorrow may never come. For all we know This may only be a dream We come We go Like a ripple On a stream So love me Never come for all we know. Tomorrow may never come for all we 
Haunting song uh, for all we know. So uh, I'm going to say goodnight after playing this next track. Uh, I, I, it's a track that really makes me think about what things were like before the uh, circuit breaker and before the um, uh, COVID-19 hit. Um, when I used to see huge audiences in the audience, uh, people in the audience, all of you there, uh, sharing your energy with us and creating this wonderful uh, vortex of love and energy in the concert halls, in the clubs. So this song I played a couple of weeks or three weeks ago on one of our shows. Um, it's uh, a performance uh, with Vanessa Rubin and my band at the Esplanade Concert Hall in December uh, 2019, my last Singaporean concert performance before COVID-19. And let's all hope that we can get back there as soon as possible. In the meantime, it's been a joy and a wonderful for my colleagues at the Jazz Association Singapore and myself to present these shows to you. I'll still be back on Thursdays for the Virtual Piano Bar Show and we'll see you at the big shows that are coming up. Um, all of us, we love you very much. Thank you. Have a great night.
know what I mean? Speak low, speak low to me. Make it soon, make it soon, make it soon, make it soon, make it soon. Vanessa Rubin, Sean Kelly.